In this lecture, we going to learn about the render pipeline objects feature in Unity. Also, I received a message about how to mask 3D but reversed. It's not the best way for reverse masking, but I will show the better way for the 3D mask reversed in the next weeks. This is for more advanced use cases that let you make some really interesting effects. This is based on a universal render pipeline or high definition render pipeline. If you are not familiar with URP or universal render pipeline, go watch a lecture on them. Just add a plane and cube object to the scene. You can create the desired environment. It is not important. We need an object to play the role of our mask. Create a material for ground. And the next one for our mask, the rest of them are for cube. The objects that are invisible, we give them this material called hidden objects. Go to your URP assets, if the engine is created for you, so the first check which one it is using then if you don't want others just delete them. If you don't have URP, you can make it by going to create, rendering, URP assets. On that render over here you got a button to add a new renderer feature, one of the options is render objects. So this lets you overwrite how some objects render. First of all, you can give it a name, so this name is for the render past, this can be useful for debugging, you can see this name when you going on frame debugger. Then you got an event when this render actually happens. Then you have a cure either transparent, and the really important one is the layer mask. So these are layers that you want to render with this render option. And down here there is a material override. So the object selected here will be rendered using this material, instead of whatever material is set on the object rendered. And then you got a checkbox for work with depth, then also stencil and camera. So tens of options here that you can use to do tons of things. First thing we need a separate layer, so let me select the cube, then go to layer and create one. Over here on layer mask, instead of nothing let's make sure we used it to override the new layer. Now we have this, let's find the red material that we want to override. Make sure you turn on transparent, and then we add depth to it.
We write the codes that we used in this video with little change. Then attach to the mask game object. There must be better ways to do this. I am working on shader graph for masking, so I will definitely post it in the future. Thanks for watching.